Alright, so welcome guys to another unboxing and today we have a really interesting product in our unboxing table. This is actually the first um, Realme product here in this channel. This is the Realme Buds Air Neo. And what's really interesting here guys is this has ANC but really compelling price range under 3,000 pesos. So this is definitely the cheapest one with ANC that I have tested. And definitely that's really nice price for something like this. So let's unbox this thing. Of course, big thanks to Realme PH for sending this over. Links down below for their shop. So it says um, Realme Buds Air 2 Neo, and you're getting um, this kind of design. It has um, you know some glossy trims. We're gonna check that out later. So in terms of specs, you have um, active noise cancellation, 28 hours of total playback, 10 millimeter dynamic um, driver, so dynamic driver configuration, single DD, and 88 ms um, super low latency, transparency mode as well, and dual mic um, noise cancellation. So definitely the ANC is your um, you know, unique selling point, especially in that price range, that's really compelling. So Realme has been making noise um, because uh, they're really, you know, making great value stuff, especially for the phone, um, you know, tech um, space. So opening it up, and uh, this is actually um, the uh, cheaper version. There's uh, Air 2, obviously a bit more expensive compared to this, but FAT for under, you know, 3,000 pesos and ANC, that's nice. And this is the unboxing experience, guys. And frankly speaking, um, you know, for the price that you're paying for, this is quite, uh, you know, nice package um, kind of kit so you're getting a USB-C cable which is nice to see in 2020 and you're getting some manuals and actually um nicely packaged manuals I'd say so you're getting yellow inside which is nice and it's quite soft as well so this might be comfortable to wear right and uh, looking at the TWS itself all right so real me branded so in the finish kind of reminds me of maybe um he loose so in the matte side of things so I do like that and you have a pretty minimalist um real me brand as well you're getting USB-C at the top as well and uh, not a lot of branding at the bottom as well so um, it's made of mostly plastic but not that bad I would say in terms of the build quality it's a notch up compared to your Halus your Halus um, feels more plasticky compared to this one so that's nice uh, but definitely still um, you know not the best build that I have felt alright so looking at the inside so this is actually what I like about TWS is so um, you have a thicker top um, which will give you you know less flimsy feeling so this feels good in the hand so you're getting some magnets as well in the opening and closing getting a button here for pairing supposed to be and you're getting uh, that light up so let's uh, take a look at the lobes itself it's uh, actually in the medium side of size but uh, it's still not that big so um, this is still pretty light and uh, maybe can be comfortable to wear on the ear. So you're getting a typical earphone kind of shape. So that might give us a more um, stability on the ear because sometimes if you have some bulges like this one, um, it will uh, be more snug in terms of the fit on the ear. So that can be nice. And here at the side, you're getting some glossy design. So no logos, which is something I personally like. So I do like also that, uh, you know, you have that um, gloss trim. So it makes it a bit more unique, but still not that loud. And uh, of course, you do get that um, ear tips as well. This is the build quality. Um, maybe this kind of reminds me more of, the, again, the hey loose in terms of the build quality. Uh, but this can be a small notch up compared to those. Um, this is a bit heavier and a bit more weighty. And also um, looks a bit more premium as well compared to those. Um, but yes, uh, so definitely for the price, um, this looks nice for me. And you're also getting um, a lot of contours. So compared to your Helios, um, this might be a bit more comfortable or more snug as well um, on the ear because uh, your Helios, it doesn't have this much contours. So this might be more stable on the ear. So if you're gonna maybe do some running, uh, maybe do some extraneous activities, um, this might be a bit better for you. All right, so now we are wearing it on our ear. And yes, um, these are pretty stable on the ear. So definitely if you're gonna do some um, you know, minor running, uh, maybe some walking as well um, this will stay on your ears so definitely that contours helps this to be a bit more stable in terms of comfort um, these are comfortable to wear because again because of that contoured um, kind of design so it's a bit breathable on the ears so you can definitely listen to this for a long listening session 
It's also a bit uh, light on the ear as well. So again, it doesn't feel that, you know, suffocating feeling on the ear. So for a long listening session, I won't have any issues in this. So let's try to pair it now. All right, so now let's move to the features. So in terms of pairing, um, the pairing here is actually very nice. It's just a one tap um, pairing experience. So after you open your device, um, there will be a pop up in your phone to a uh, pair. And also um, in terms of uh, pairing again, um, once you put the TWS, outside um, the case it will pair right away so definitely yes uh, the pairing experience is really nice on this um, very seamless for me um, in terms of the connection actually um, this is very impressive um, this is one of the most um, stable TWS that I've tested so um, definitely um, the connection here is more stable maybe compared to your usual um, Halos so I was able to get uh, maybe um, 10 meters uh, from the phone and it didn't disconnect on me so for me um, around two times the usual buds in this price range so definitely really impressive in this this is one of the key features for me of the realme buds air in terms of the battery life i was able to get around four to five hours in actual usage so my volume is around 60 to 70 percent um, a listenable uh, volume so i did some gaming and also um, some music listening as well and uh, i got that battery life so i would say decent so in terms of features, there's actually a good number of them here. So first, you have noise control, you have noise um, cancellation, transparency mode, and normal. You can choose it from the app. And also what's nice with this is the noise control can be controlled um, from your TWS itself. Also, it has game mode as well to improve your latency. Also, it has um, sound effects or equalizer settings as well. So this is actually um, one thing that I really enjoyed, especially for the price that you're paying for. So you have dynamic, um, which is um, you know, a fun um, kind of sound. Bass boost, which is more of a warm um, sound on the ear. So definitely the bass is really elevated in the mix. And also a bright um, EQ as well. So for me personally, I actually prefer the bright EQ. Um, so for me, um, it balances out the sound a bit. So the dynamic is uh, quite more bassy than what I would like. So the bright um, kind of work for me. Also, it has volume enhancer as well to improve um, the audio. But for me, it didn't reach the point where I needed this. So um, this gets pretty loud for me. Around 60 to 70% is the listenable volume for me. Also, what I like about this is the commands are customizable from the app itself. So each command, um, double tap, triple tap, um, can be modified to your liking. So for me personally, I did change the touch and hold um, in the left and right lobe to game mode. And also switch um, noise cancellation mode as well. So now we are going to test the ANC. You're going to hear the actual um, noise cancellation performance. I did record it with my sound test rig. So let's start the ANC test. So this is the normal mode without the ANC and now with transparency on. So this is the transparency mode. mode of the Realme Buds Air 2 Neo and now with noise cancellation. So with noise, noise cancellation, you should be able to um, hear less of the background noise and more of my voice as well. So how does the noise cancellation perform? Let me know down in the comments below. So that is the ANC test and actually pretty impressive ANC for me. Um, so definitely the ANC works like a charm. It cuts out maybe around 70% of the noise. Um, so definitely cuts out uh, most of the background noise. Um, so really nice ANC for me, especially for the price that you are paying for. So in terms of gaming and latency, I did test this with PUBG and also Genshin Impact. So in my usage of the gaming mode is around 70 to 100 ms. So the gaming performance for me is pretty decent in this. I was able to play some PUBG um, nicely. And I was also able to um, pinpoint some um, footsteps as well, especially in the bright mode. So I do recommend guys, if you're gonna do some gaming, put it into bright mode. That way you will hear footsteps easier. But so the delay here for me is not bad. I'm definitely decent, I'm usable. So now we are gonna do a sound test of this. I did run this with my sound test rig, just to give you an idea on how this sounds like. So let's start the sound test. <laughs> So that ends our initial sound test. I'm um, letting know down below what do you think of them. But I'm gonna do a full length sound test of this here in this channel, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so this is the mic test of the Realme Buds Air Neo. So it's actually pretty clear, so you can definitely understand it. So definitely not bad. 
so that um, dual noise um, isolation um, definitely helps out in making the mic a little bit more clear. So definitely good for the price. So this is now the uh, mic test with some people talking in the background. So we will check how good the noise um, canceling is, noise isolation is. So you can still definitely understand it. So not bad overall. Uh, not the clearest mic type or the definitely for the price you're paying for. This is really good. All right. So now let's talk about the sound in the Realme Air. Um, so firstly, um, this more in the relaxed um, side of things in terms of the overall presentation. So this a non-fatiguing um, listen on the ear. So actually for the signature, it's more of a U um, type of shape with some bass elevation. So actually the bass elevation is not as elevated as maybe your other bass heads, um, TWSs. So there are more um, TWS that's more bassy compared to this. So um, this is still a bit more toned down, but uh, still the base is substantial in this TWS. So looking at the highs, the highs actually has um, enough extension at the top. Um, this has a bit of peak on top, and that gives it more energy, more life to the sound, more musicality to the sound. So you have air frequencies available in this TWS, uh, which can be nice for maybe guitar tracks. Um, so guitar tracks um, will still have that life on top. It will um, sound lively to listen to. Um, and also um, for maybe some cymbals as well, it will give it more life. So the splash there will be more prominent uh, when you have that peak. However, for me, um, this is not the strength of this TWS because the peak here is a bit too much for me. So it can make um, you know, some instruments a bit thin for my liking. Like for example, Eric Clapton um, changed the world. So the cymbals there is lacking a bit of body for me. However, the highs here doesn't have some sibilance on top. So it's not um, you know, fatiguing to listen to again. But for me, it's not the strength of this because yes, the highs is a bit uh, too thin for my liking. And those are the mids. Um, the mids are actually for me better compared to the highs. So this is actually um, one of my favorite parts of um, the spectrum. So the mids is in the smooth um, side of presentation. So the vocals um, are pretty full in the mix. So um, full bodied um, vocal in this uh, for both male and female vocals. So what's nice in the vocal here, it's not um, shouty to listen to. It's not aggressive, um, fatiguing to listen to for a long listening session. So yes, if you're gonna listen to this for five hours um, or something like that, um, you won't get fatigued um, with the overall listen in this which is uh, very nice for me. And also with that um, smooth um, nature of the sound, so um, you know, some pianos, um, some wind instruments um, can sound uh, full in the mix. However, um, the issue here for me, if I'm gonna nitpick, is uh, the vocals can still be a bit veiled in the mix. So yes, it's uh, you know, full in terms of the overall body, uh, but the presentation is uh, it's a bit still laid back for my liking. So it's not the most um, revealing vocal for me in the mix. Again, the advantage of that is uh, it's you know less shouty to listen to, uh, but uh, this is a bit too veiled um, in the mix for me. So uh, yes, not the most revealing vocal. And also the um, you know positioning as well, um, being a U um, type of shape, is a bit recessed in the mix, so it's a bit back in the mix for me. However, the advantage here is uh, if you're gonna watch some YouTube movies because of that full vocal, so it will be understandable to listen to and uh, if you listen to you know youtube videos for the whole day you won't have an issue with the you know fatigue in this so that's one advantage since for me i'm not the most revealing but uh, you know can have some pros for some people because of the non-fatiguing sound uh, but for me i like the mids here more than the highs so the bass here is actually in the boomy side and again substantial in the mix um, this is elevated in the mix uh, but this is not the most impactful bass that i've heard so actually in terms of the impact um, this in the mellow side of things this um, while the bass is elevated in the signature um this is not you know the most bassy um tws that i've heard so the advantage of that is the bass presentation is not that overwhelming in the mix um so um there's some mid bass bleed in this but not as much compared to other tws that i've heard that has you know really substantial impactful bass this is a bass head spare i would say um you know just barely passes um, being a bass head spare I have heard of other TWSs that's more bassy compared to this one. So soundstage here is pretty intimate, not the biggest that I've heard. So um, it's in the small side. Um, imaging is not that black and white. So um, not that pinpoint in terms of the you know positioning. Um, separation is also not that pronounced with the smooth um, nature of the sound here. And with the small stage, it's not easy to pinpoint the instruments. Also detail, um, this is not the most um, detailed pair. Um, so there's not a lot of detail in this TWS. So yes, in terms of the overall sound, um, this is more of a consumer um, type of tuning, um, you know, some bass elevation. I would say it's still, you know, pretty decent um, sound, um, especially for, um, you know, having ANC in, in this price range. 
Um, so a lot of people will just pick this up and be um, okay with the sound because uh, it's kind of a likable um, type of tuning on the ear. Uh, but for enthusiasts, um, you might you know look for um, more compared to this. All right, so let's try to close this thing. So firstly, uh, for the Realme Air, I would say it's good value for the money because uh, firstly, it's the first um, ANC that I have tested. You know, under uh, fifty dollars is the cheapest ANC that I have seen. And the ANC is good quality as well. Connection for me is pretty good. Um, there's an app uh, to control the TWS as well. Pairing is uh, pretty easy as well. So um, just the overall, you know, usability and uh, you know function, especially with ANC, um, this is really nice um, value for the money. So um, the sound here, um, you know, quite decent for the price. Um, it's more of a consumer type of tuning. So, um, you know, even if I nitpick on the sound uh, for you guys, I need to explain the sound. But I think for a lot of people's, you know, the target of this TWS, um, you might not have an issue with this. Um, because it is a consumer you know type of tuning the bass will be substantial for you the vocals is still quite clear in the mix so for, so for youtube videos and uh, movies um you will be fine um, with the you know vocal presentation in this and uh, also has enough extension at the top has a bit of peak on top uh, which will give you more um you know musicality in the sound so this is not um you know muffled sounding yeah having that anc in that price and uh, with the you know listenable sound um, it's definitely good value for the money so I would say for the price that you're paying for, um, this is you know a really compelling option under fifty dollars. It's my take in the Real Me Buds Air Pro. If you learned something, of course, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. So we review budget to mid-fi audio gear. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next Z Bolt review. Goodbye.